Throughout history, mankind has lived with many different forms of government. We've had everything from kings to presidents, from communists to capitalists. But have any of these governments actually worked? I would say no. Because all forms of government in one way or another lead to a totalitarian dictatorship. Even the ones that disguise themselves as a free democracy. Whenever a government is eventually toppled, it is almost immediately replaced with another. Sometimes it's better than the previous government, and sometimes not. The federal government we have today, for example, has far more control over us than the monarchy that we left in 1776. But what if we could do away with, fe with the federal government altogether? Could we function without it? Abolishing the federal government in the first place would obviously be extremely difficult, but let's just assume for the sake of conversation that it is possible. How would we live? Let's explore this concept. Now, abolishing the federal government in America would obviously cause a massive initial shock, most notably to the economy. Markets would undoubtedly crash, and the banks would struggle to figure out what to do with the now useless dollar. It's likely that the major banks would band together to make their own currency. There would also be no federal taxes, of course, but there would also be no federal funding for individual states. So each one would likely raise its own state taxes to make up for the lost grants. But even so, higher state taxes would still be easier to pay than both state taxes and federal taxes. Government health insurance would also be gone and many other federal assistance programs would be as well, like social security and food stamps and so on. This is the sticky part of abolishing the federal government. People are obviously going to look at the flaws of an America without government before they look at the benefits. Are you willing to give up all your financial assistance from the feds and trust your local state to provide it instead? Another very large thing to consider is what would happen to the U.S. military. Would it disband? Well, I think it shouldn't, and here's why. America has more enemies than ever right now, all of which will be considering taking advantage of us during this time of transition, which is why it's imperative that the U.S. military stay together as it is with all the same military leadership in place. The Joint Chiefs should be the ones to determine if, where, and when the military should take action. This includes any nuclear action. Now, we can't ignore the fact that our country, as it is, is already very divided between liberals and conservatives. I do believe at first that all 50 states would maintain a mutual alliance with each other. However, as time goes on, each state will conduct themselves in extremely different ways. I believe that Republican-controlled states will conduct themselves very similar to the way that they do now. However, the ones controlled by Democrats will enact the most extreme forms of socialism into their laws. Eventually, both sides will become too intolerable for the other to handle. It's likely that the solid conservative states would make their own alliance while the solid liberal states would do the same. The other swing states would either be stuck in limbo, remain neutral, or choose a side depending on which party controls the legislature at that time. While I know this sounds like it would put America on the brink of civil war, I think that we can all agree it's already on the brink of civil war as it is, with or without the federal government. Now, as I said earlier, the initial shock of abolishing the federal government would be a major adjustment for Americans. It would undoubtedly impact all of our lives, but eventually, life goes on. We've seen this time and again throughout history. Regardless of what type of disaster or crisis, or crisis people are facing, they always return to a normal routine sooner or later. Life goes on. We still have jobs to go to and families to take care of. One of mankind's greatest abilities is the ability to adapt to change. We can adapt to a life without government. It wouldn't be easy, as I said. The government is extremely intertwined with our lives, our economy, and our way of living. But the long-term benefits of it would be everlasting. Generation after generation would be able to live with true freedom. Imagine a world where you wouldn't be burdened with heavy taxes. Imagine a world where you, 
where you have a thriving economy that doesn't have to worry about interference from political hacks. Imagine a country where the people are actually free and not on Uncle Sam's leash. We can achieve it if we want it. I know that there are other issues with abolishing our federal government that I did not touch on, such as what to do with our national debt, our prison system, and the three, mil three million federal employees. But I'm very willing to talk about these in the comments below, so feel free to, to leave a comment down there. Now, we've been living with federal government for so long that it could be difficult for people to accept the idea that we could live without it. Many people, after all, are very dependent on it. But we need to start learning to think outside the box when it comes to government. We can't just keep taking this abuse of power and say it's okay because it's not. For years, we've let the government walk all over us and encroach on our God-given rights. We need to learn that we can have a beautiful world without government. We need to learn that life without government is what true freedom is all about. And we can have it, because no government has ever lasted forever.